Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Chrono Trigger. Last time, we used our powered up pendant and powers of time travel in tandem in order to go around 1000, ha, and 600 AD to get all the best treasures possible from each time period. We also learned that we have a talent for tearing families apart. Things have only gotten worse with Marl and her family, and we're not going to be seeing any more about that for quite a while. This time, we're on our way back to Truce Canyon 600 AD, because we're actually not quite done there. After getting the chest in 1000 AD, it's a good idea to head back that way. It's because we're time travelers. We haven't opened these chests yet. <laughs> After powering up the chests, go back in time and remove the item that it was in the first place to get the weaker version of the item. It might seem pointless to have a blue vest and, uh a blue plate together in the same inventory because one is just factually better than another. But remember, you only got one of each. If you need to protect against water for a really hard boss fight or something, now you can put it on multiple characters. While the plate version absorbs the damage outright, the vest version is still a 50% reduction. It's hardly a useless effect and something definitely worth looking into whenever creating an equipment spread for the team. In Guardia Castle, this was originally a red vest. A stronger version of the ruby vest. I think we might actually have one of those still equipped to at least somebody, just because it is a pretty good piece of equipment. Frog. Okay. You needed... Do you not, or do we not have a red plate? Okay, seems I didn't get the one in Guardia Castle in the, I swore I did, all right. Oh. Poor a Elder's House, I know we got these. You are a black vest, and then you'll be a white vest. Not even facing it, that must be some strong reacting. Luca finally learned Fire 2, and we got the Fire 2 sword. Antipode Bomb 2 and Delta Force, second triple tech that we've ever learned, and with the original trio. They call me Gato, I have metal... Okay. <laughs> While we're here, we might as well show what happens if you were to charm Gato, as he is technically a bot. F you, Chrono! <laughs> charm. There, Chrono, are you gonna get mad that he whacked around Marl? No, okay, good. That's actually not good. Enemy has nothing to give but gratitude. Wait, really? Oh, okay. Oh, I understand. So he gives you the Ambrosia, AKA the Power Meal, which restores HP or MP at random. We already have one of these in our inventory, so he won't give it to us. For some reason, it's capped at one. And if it's not a spectacular item, so I don't really know why it does that, it just sort of does. Hey, call me, got him out, I got 30 points. Ayla, do your stuff. That's why he wasn't giving it to us before. Charm him. Don't, Chrono. Don't. Thank you. I really could have just equipped it from this. Chrono. I really need to just equip that off of him. Okay. Stop playing with my emotions, Gato. You are such a cruel mistress. Speaking of cruel mistress. Oh, jeez. Come on, Ayla. Hit on that robot. And not actually... We haven't seen that attack before, actually. Yeah, he can just, if he's out of a range to punch you, he'll just sing at you instead. It does two damage, it's kind of easy to bear. There we go, Ambrosia, proving that I was not crazy. I don't know why this item is limited to one per party. It's not like it's an astoundingly epic item or anything. It's just sort of all right and it's luck-based. I kind of feel about it the same way I feel about the lucky sandwiches in Earthbound where I tend to not really use them, except for in videos. <laughs> In Guardia Forest, there was a sealed chest over this way. However, oh no, wood. How will we ever pass through that? All I can do is just shake my head no and move on. We cleaned out a whole kingdom's coffers twice in one day, but that ain't good enough for us. I wanna go to, not Medina Village, not Protodome, Guardia Forest 1000 AD. Who knew that it took interdimensional time portals to get around a layer of wood? <laughs> this takes us to the sealed chest that we could not collect earlier, giving us a power ring. 
I'm reminded of the Saturday morning Sonic cartoon, and I am very sad now. Uh, strength plus... Not power glove. Uh, power ring is strength plus six. Very welcome on any one of our attackers. Maybe that could go on Ayla. I like the third eye on her. 72 evasion. She she would never get hit if I did that. You know? Eh, why not? She's a good evasion wall. I'll keep her all the way she is. Oh, look. Time for Medina Village. I'll help myself to a slice of cake that you prepare for me, expecting me to pass by every day. Look at you flexing your bicep, not what you would typically get as results from eating a slice of cake every day. And remember that area in Times of Antiquity that I told you to remember? The guy said that there were elemental weapons stored here at behest of the queen. Light from the pendant. The seal is broken. I will give you a treasure, crafted by the Guru of Reason himself. To your right is a weapon which will enhance your strength. To your left is protective gear which will guard your life. Think well, and choose whichever you need the most. 13,000 years was a very long time. Balthazar, I go to you now. You cannot take both of these chests, only one or the other. In the left chest, the Guardian Helm, which cuts all physical damage by one third. There will be opportunities to get this item later. There are no other opportunities to get what's in the right chest, which is the Swallow. This is a weapon for Chrono that gives him a lot of attack and three extra speed. It's good. Though there aren't that many fights between this pyramid and better weapons. Considering we already have 16 speed on Chrono, safe helmet is for me. What the food did any of that have to do with elemental weapons? If you were like me and thought that this place was very disappointing for how important it looked and how you saw it at another time period and you had to put two and two together and figure out that, hey, that place was also this, maybe we should go visit it back now. Earlier in development, this was going to be the entrance to an optional dungeon that would have had elemental weapons, presumably, as the prizes from it, and that line of text just never got updated from that. It's to the point where there's even an unused animation of the dungeon entrance opening that looks super elaborate, and it's such a shame that this just had to be cut from the finished product. Given that they practically told us this place was going to be super important, and then it just wasn't. Chrono does get hit a lot. So 15 extra defense and a natural resistance to physical damage. Sounds pretty great. His Triceratopper can now go on Ayla. In what I have written in my notes as the water cave from Medina Village, trademark. <laughs> I was really at a loss for what to write that day because I guess I just couldn't remember the name. There was a sealed chest in the Hecran cave as well. Obtained Barrier Ring. Let me guess. Plus six to diff... Oh. Here I was going to call it predictable, and then this happened. Hmm? There's something else in here. What in the world? Obtained Speed Ring. If that's plus six speed, oh, I will not complain anymore. Barrier Ring is plus ten to magic defense. Not quite what I expected there. And the Speed Ring... is speed plus three, meaning that Ayla can also have maxed out speed now. By taking a ride in what I like to call nature's washing machine. I, I don't actually like to call it that, okay? I was, I was just trying to, you know, do a thing, okay. Uh, Chrono's mom has not seen Ayla yet. This is our first time getting to take Ayla out of her own time period, get her some fresh air, let her stretch her legs. We'll let her see mom. Gracious, who are you? Me, Ayla! Ayla, dear, a young lady shouldn't dress like that. But Ayla like. 
No buts. The proper response is yes, ma'am. Chrono's strong. Chrono mom's strong too. <laughs> Good reaction. All I could have hoped for. Ayla was definitely the better part of that exchange, and not so much Chrono's mom. Tamon doesn't have anything for us, pretty sure about that. Oh, Lucas friends. See, look at, okay, tell her to drop by sometime. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Good thing I checked this. Usually it's in times like this where he, hey, Luca, I've been working on some defensive gear for my favorite daughter. Oh, he's just been working on it, it's not actually done. Okay, so never mind, I was right in the first place. And last on our list is Bangor Dome 2300 AD. We have a reason to go back to the desolate future, as little expected as it might have been. And there's been something on my mind for a lot, uh, a lot lately. In fact, it's been on your minds too. Ever since we've gone to the future once, many of you have told me, hey, talk about how you take damage on the overworld if you stay there for too long. I'm, I'm going to do this right now. I've seen this information paraded around a lot, and not just in my own comments, just about talk of this game in general. I'm gonna sit here and show you that this does not happen. I waited about four minutes and nothing. My HP bars are exactly the same as they were. Remember that in the Super Nintendo original, you wouldn't be able to see your health on the screen at all times, and it'd be bad design if you were just standing around because you left the game running, and then you got into a battle and suddenly, whoop, you have one HP, I guess you're dead now. I just really wanted to give that attention because I've seen a lot of people saying that, but never heard that before, and it's not the case. In the Bangor Dome, there was the alluring top. This increases the chances of charm working and can only be equipped by Ayla. Ooh, Chrono's mom not gonna be happy about that find. Hi, Ether. And a workman's wallet. Workman's wallet, I do need to check on to make sure I know what that does. That is... Turns experience into money. What is this, Paper Mario Sticker Star? I'm good, I will keep my experience points. Right next to the RS Dome is the Tran Dome which also has a door of its own. Did not mean for that to rhyme. That gives a high ether a golden stud. Ooh, that is such a good item. I'm just gaga-ing over every item that we're seeing. The golden stud, oh, who do I want to give that to? Maybe Luca, actually. She doesn't really use the magic ring much. We're just swapping equipment around like mad. The Golden Stud, where, thank you, okay. Reduces MP consumption by 75%. Let's her just spam the ever-living daylights out of her magic and there's no threat there whatsoever. Taban's Vest already increases uh, her magic defense, so I think it's fine if we don't really give her the magic ring. Take it, Luca, you've earned it. And the Golden Stud might have been different at one point in development. There is an unused item called the Seraph Song, an accessory that gradually restores MP. I can kind of see why it was cut because the golden stud is already so much greater than a lot of the good accessories that don't deal in MP. It would have been redundant. Not done yet. Protodome 2300 AD is next. From there, we'll go to site 32 and we'll race Johnny for old time's sake in order to get across the ruins quickly. It's okay, I am a master of this craft. Hovercraft, that is. Johnny, AKA the man, has tires in his official artwork that say bad year instead of good year. I guess they were manufactured in AD 1999. Ha 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 ha. I found out that badass tricycles are just called trikes. I like my name for them a lot better. On the other end of the ruins, it's Aris Dome that we want to visit last. By taking the rightmost path and inputting the password of hold L and R and press A, that opens up this little piece of land, enabling us to reach this pendant door. Behind it, five items. A gold earring, which should increase max HP by a really high amount. Max HP by 50%. It's more than possible, actually, to... How much did Robo get out of that? Robo can have over 900 HP. It's that good. Acuity ring. 
Phrases accuracy by 10. I pronounced this word equity for most of my life because of YouTube videos pronouncing Lake Acuity as equity in Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. Elixir, luminous robe. That raises magic defense as a whole by five, but it's not as good as the plate equipment that we've had. Since Frog, unfortunately, oh, Frog actually can't equip that either. Frog can have the Mesozoic mail though. Uh, yeah, it's not as good as any of the plate armor that we've already picked up. I'll save it in case we just need general defense for something. And then lastly, Strength Capsule. I know a girl who would love to have that. Her name ain't Luca. Make her strength even higher than Kronos, why don't you? Like she needed any more power behind her belt. And that is every single collectible that can be obtained with the pendant. Next up is the abandoned sewers. I mentioned that this place was not required the first time around, though it's significantly more desolate if visited at this point in time. Since we opened the way earlier, we have an easy way across, don't have to do any dungeon crawling, don't have to fight any enemies, we can just go, go, go very quickly over to the Keeper's Dome. The final instruction sequence the wise one programmed into me was for his burial. Now I can join him in his eternal rest. But first, hmm, I am certain there was one more task I was ordered to complete. Something about the seats, Memory error. I forget. And it begins to glow. You who have opened the door, I am Balthazar, the guru of reason and formerly of the kingdom of zeal. I was cast in this era by a great disaster which befell our land. Much to my surprise, I have learned that the creature Lavos was not a product of our age, far from it. It seems that the being fell from the sky in a bygone age, burrowing deep into the planet's core. There he began to feed upon its energy, growing ever stronger. Lavos's form was revealed briefly when he was summoned forth by a mighty wizard by the name of Magus in the year 600. In the year 1999, Lavos emerged to claim the surface. Now he has taken the place I've named Death Peak as his throne, or nest as it may well be. His miniature spawn now flow from the mountaintop, an avalanche of death. Lavos is a parasite, a parasite of gargantuan proportions whose host is the planet itself. Trapped here, I endeavor to continue my study and observation of Lavos, but I believe the end draws near. Maintaining one's sanity is an endeavor in and of itself in an age such as this. An endeavor, I fear, may be futile. So before my mind is lost forever, I have decided to leave these records of my knowledge behind, along with my greatest invention. Ever did I long to return home and toil endlessly in search of a way. But as I neared the completion of my research, so did I near the end of my days. I have grown old and frail, and so I leave it in your hands, you who have opened the way. Take hold of the reins of time, and let all the people of this planet's past and future join as one. Then, only then, you just may be able to stop Lavos. You have little chance of success, but even a little chance is still a chance. You who have opened the door, the fate of the world is in your hands. Now open the final door and claim what awaits you, my last and greatest work. The Wings of Time. I have no jokes or remarks to make about this. This is such a sad tale. Being separated from his time, presumably as a punishment for challenging Queen Zeal, he was just sacrificed to Lavos, he was able to open up time portals. He was sent here, at past the apocalypse, after Lavos had destroyed it, left without any way to get home, and went mentally insane trying. And just as he was about to complete it, it was his time to go. This must be Balthazar's invention. Oh, what this thing?
Scared you, didn't I? It's me, Balthazar! I copied my memory into this thing. What do you think? Precious, isn't he? Anyway, there is something I need to explain, namely, how to transcend time. Press the Y button to display the time gauge, then use the L and R button to select an era. Ah, oh, yes! Before you go, why don't you give a name to my time machine? By default, the time machine's name is Epic. Well then, hop aboard! Not the seventh member of the party you expected. We have another way of traveling through time. Next time on Chrono Trigger, we'll use this newfound power to make our way back to antiquity. See you guys then.